On May 10th, 1986, Joseph Samuel Hall was born. I always said that boy was going to be no good. Are the only words his father could come up with when asked of the momentous event. In 2000, JSH, better known as Joe at the time, found himself on his first adventure. A simple crane game would propel him to a life-changing journey with an Omega Bear named Roy. While laying in the grass in a position suspiciously similar to falling, Roy found himself under the behest of the elemental of life, find and train the boy who would one day save the world. The only problem was, Roy hates humans, a character trait soon forgotten without a word. The young Joe had many friends during his childhood, quite a few in fact. Sometimes Joe would just be walking down the street and he'd find two more. Fortunately, Joe had better luck in his friends sticking around than his old friend Duck, something his father didn't always approve of. I never liked his friends, especially the black ones. One time I caught him and JSA stomping on the eggs of carnivorous birds the size of a house. And the time he absorbed the dark spirit of evil. It's just like their kind. You can't trust Nick. Even though his friends would often drag him into wacky hijinks, Joe had a soft side to him. In fact, he liked to pick flowers. He liked to pick flowers so much that he often found himself repeatedly picking a flower, going into the menu, selecting the flower, and then a friend a heal for 10 whole HP out of 60, rather than just giving a healing point. I caught him talking to the cat once. That boy's gay. As always, Joe's adventures never failed to bring him closer to his earthbound inspiration, going so far as to see the Beatles, Beatles, live. Otherwise, Joe's adventures steered closer to the serious business of disco women trying to destroy the world rather than his lighter cookies shorted days. What the fuck is that? What is that about, dude? I have... Whatever. But nothing lasts forever, and so too went Joe's childhood. Remember that day like it was yesterday. You can't forget a day like that. He came home, smiling, like nothing was wrong. 
but we could smell it on him. Games. It all started with a simple task to save the light and dark elements. Two spirits, two parties. It all made sense at the time, until you noticed the two elements were about five feet apart. At that moment, we knew he had a problem. He found himself traversing down long stretches of hallway with no variation whatsoever once again. His mother broke into tears. In battles, he found himself learning new spells every five minutes, all of them worthless next to his free triple damage skill. The dad I'm I'm gonna make games. <laughs>